Hey guys, so for the last year, we've been driving around our uh, Duramax diesel van uh, that pulls our Airstream. And when we first bought this thing, people were like, no, what are you doing? Just get a truck, why would you do that? And uh, we had our fears, we had our doubts. It has definitely not been perfect. It's overheated on us, uh, going up some pretty decent grades. And we also had some towing issues, which technically, as we found out, weren't really the fault of the van, but more the hitch than the van. I'm gonna lower this one more notch on here to get it down more in the front. Because with this wind, this is just not working. I mean, I'm having to go, instead of 65, I'm having to go 55 now. The van doesn't have four wheel drive, so we got stuck in the van one time. We did it. But with those two issues aside, this has been a very good vehicle for us. It's been great to tow our Airstream, which is around 9,000 pounds. If you want all the like geeky numbers and stuff, I'm not going to get into too much of that, but I'll have a link below for those numbers if you want all that. So is the van perfect? No. Is it sexy? <laughs> No. I mean, it's got dings, it's got scratches, it's got imperfections. It does take a little bit of the stress out of RVing because I don't have to freak out when there's that gravel truck in front of me. I don't have to freak out when one of us backs into a tree or backs into a stump. It gets the job done and we bought this over a truck for several reasons and uh, I want to give you guys a tour of the van but along the way I also want to talk about why we chose this over a truck and why at least for us it's been a good choice. One of the first thing I did was add these towing mirrors on here. I got these off of e-trailer. Side note, we had a woman stop us at Walmart and I kid you not, Marissa will vouch for me she traced this bird on a piece of paper it was like over 30 minutes it looked good when she got done but it was a long 30 minutes and um it was a very bonding experience uh these have done really well i wish they stuck out more i wish they had the option to quickly take these off and on they were kind of a pain to put on but other than that i like them and they've been worth the money this is our uh, tire pressure monitoring system we've got we've got these on the airstream wheels as well so every single tire i can tell what the tire pressure is uh, the entire time i'm driving and so when we bought this although it was rated to tow 10,000 pounds it did not have the hitch on it so i had to buy this uh, which was super easy to install. And then we also had to install the seven pin wiring to hook up the trailer in the back. And so that's kind of the thing with these vans. Uh, some of them come tow ready, everything you need, but most of the time they're not gonna come like a truck would with everything ready to tow. You may have to add a couple of extra things to the van. That doesn't mean you can't do it. That doesn't mean they're not built to be that way. A lot of them are just a base shell so that you can sort of mod it out however you want, which is what I, I like that. One thing that's really hard to find that we were able to find on this one, it was really hard to find a diesel van that had all the windows, didn't have the sliding door, had the doors that actually open out uh, instead of uh, sliding to the side. Because the thing is with these vans, they can be very efficient and they don't look too bad with the windows, but if you get the wrong model with the sliding door and no windows, it can start to look kind of creepy. But folks in the Sacramento neighborhood are wondering about a van advertising free candy. The neighborhood kids were thrilled and curious. One 12-year-old took a picture, but parents were a little suspicious. I still might have broken down and got the sliding door if I found everything else, but I lucked out. This is like the only one in the country I could find. That's why I went all the way to New Hampshire to get this thing, uh, is because it had all the stuff that I wanted on it. I knew our trailer could be at a max of 10,000 pounds. I knew we weren't gonna have 10,000 pounds, but I wanted to make sure we had plenty of oomph if we needed to for mountains and that kind of thing. And this is kind of tips it over too. Like your gas engines, when you're towing, you start getting over six, seven, 8,000 pounds. I mean, they're gonna get pitiful mileage, like seven miles to the gallon. And this gets 13.5 miles to the gallon with this diesel engine. And we got it for $10,500. So could I get a gas one cheaper than that? Yeah. But to get a 2007 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel engine in a vehicle with only like 80 something thousand miles in it uh, for 10.5, that was pretty good. <laughs> so comparing like a van to a truck, I feel like what we're getting for the price was a really good price. Something else I had installed last time we were in Tennessee, uh, just because it's very helpful <laughs> when you're backing up to a trailer all the time to have this, uh, is a backup camera. You know, I don't remember when we installed it while we put it there in the middle. 
<laughs> there was a reason it ended up there, uh, but there was also a way that we could get it higher than that, and I just haven't moved it yet. Compared to a lot of the trucks we're looking at, this is a foot and a half or more shorter than the trucks. And so it comes in really handy if you're ever having to parallel park, or I mean, just being shorter overall helps in a lot of the environments we're in. But then a downside that comes with this being a shorter hood is that half your engine is inside the cab. So that means you probably got a little bit more noise inside there. It means it gets hotter just a little bit faster because it's more enclosed. And it also means when you gotta have this worked on, it's more expensive to get it worked on because things are less accessible. And to get to a certain part, you gotta move another part to move another part. So this is where I'm sitting a lot of the time. <laughs> and so our van came with a CD player, but we use it um, never. <laughs> so I got a phone mount. Cup holder was way too small to hold pretty much anything. So we've expanded that out. We charge a ton of stuff in here. I've got a charger going right now for a battery for this camera I've got in my hands. I've got a charger going over here for the GoPro. It's being charged right now. And this is a three-way charger that we're using on a lot of this stuff. And we've got a way to charge um, our MacBooks if we need to. So we've got a charger in there right now for that on this inverter. That's a lot of charging. <laughs> but we do have two batteries uh, and we've never had an issue with the batteries going dead or anything like that because we're charging our stuff um, on the side. Uh, this came pre-wired for a brake controller and I'm pretty sure it actually had one at some point but they pulled it out so we installed this Takancha brake controller this is our EEZ tire tire pressure monitoring system and we've got a switch here that turns on the backup camera when I need it I'm a little bit obsessed with it I have an entire pocket of different kinds of velcro so don't judge me trash usually goes in here on this one and we have another pocket on the other side for trash that Marissa uses over there toboggan I keep my NOCO charger under here first aid kit and so we've got this bench seat that I had installed and welded into the van. And all we need is this one seat. And so once we had this seat installed, we could also get the car seat installed. And Hensley gets to face forward and she can see out the side. She can see out the other side because we got these windows. And so when we were debating between a truck and a van, one of the big things that came up was Marissa has to go to the bathroom a lot. So we've got this Camco camping toilet here and this thing has been awesome. Anytime Marissa needs to access this, she can get out of the seat and use the toilet and we are good to go. And one thing I love about the van is just the versatility. I mean, we could have finished this out and, and we might finish it out one day, I don't know, but it, it just, it does what it needs to do. My fear, I was like, well, we'll just try it out and see how it goes. Cause I thought, it may get extremely cold back here. It may get extremely hot back here. It may not be comfortable. There may be too much rattling. Uh, none of that happened. It, Hensley stays comfortable. We're comfortable. I think if we had like uh, seats all the way into the back, somebody in the back would not be comfortable because there's not air going back there. But for what we have with just one bench seat, uh, it's worked out great. And so because it's like super flexible and super accessible, you know, I have this backpack. I was like, I need somewhere to hang the backpack. Well, I just, I just drill a hole and stick a hook in here. So to block off our stuff in the back, we've got this cargo net. It's a super crazy, sturdy cargo net. Uh, it's like a hundred bucks. It's a gladiator, gladiator cargo net. So we've got our ladder that expands in here. We've got this just to protect the top and keep it from banging up against stuff so much when we move around. Here is our carrier from when we're gonna go hiking for Hensley. There's our extra water. Because the Airstream didn't have much storage, we wanted a vehicle that would give us as much storage as possible. And not just storage, but storage that was easily accessible. In my mind, Preferably, I'd like to get to something in one step, but worst case, two steps. So like if I want to be able to get to, you know, her stroller, I do have to open the door, the stroller's right here. And we've done that on our storage inside the back of the van too. Now you can get a truck, you can get a camper top, you can put storage in it, you can organize it, but uh, I really love the way you can organize with a van. And I love, love, love how these doors just swing open and I've got tons of room and I can access everything at once if I want to. I think Marissa compromised and let me get away with this because I said, we'll put all the sexy in the Airstream <laughs> and we'll just make this as functional as possible. So these doors swing all the way open. Uh, usually if it was in here, my uh, water hose would be right here, my electric. I'm still working on a good way to store the electric in here. The stuff in the van that I need to access quickly and quite often I keep in here. I've got, this is to uh, raise and lower the jacks on the Airstream. I've got a small hammer, my blade, scissors, pliers. And so this is how I've chosen to store the stuff in the back of our van. Super simple, cost me a hundred bucks in wood and about two or three hours to build this. These are waterproof, airtight containers that already had that are very sturdy, very high quality, very heavy duty. And I thought, why not just build it around them? 
where they slide in and out, they fit in their spot like they need to, and then most everything is too deep. And so for example, I've got this first one's like our sporty type stuff. So we got life jackets, disc golf stuff in there. And then I can get for the second one if I need to here in the back. This one's pretty much totally empty. And so I've learned one of the keys for organization is just to uh, keep some cushion. And so we keep one or two containers just for donation stuff, that stuff that we realize we don't need or we got too much of. Sometimes those containers will be totally empty. Sometimes they'll be jam packed with stuff we need to take and donate, which tells us it's time to go donate and clear those containers out. This one's a donate container. This is towels and sheets. This one is uh, toys and stuff like that for Hensley. This container is electrical, a Dremel, um, air pump for the tires. On the bottom, I'm not gonna drag it all the way out, but we got our washer dryer combo, which we still like. It does a very good job for what it is. Our uh, champions in the back. I don't need it that often unless we're boondocking. If we do, I get it out and leave it out. I'm not constantly pulling it in and out, so it sits in the back. Keep a lot of my camera stuff kind of in this corner. Uh, tools, and I've got six of these that are like these DeWalt containers. Some of them are different ways to organize different stuff. And then the last one's kind of far back in there. Um, there's just more tools on that one. On this side, we've got Hensley's toys are in here. This is miscellaneous cleaning stuff, paint colors for the RV, all that kind of stuff. This one has my bag if I ever need to travel or fly, printer and some uh, winter type clothes in there. And I love having all this stuff with us. We wanna go hike, we found a trail we didn't know about, we've got all our hiking stuff here. We wanna go bike, we've got our bikes with us. Camera gear's always with us. We could even wash some clothes if we needed to for some reason. But yeah, that's quite a bit of storage and that's one of the reasons we love our van. You want to show them your part? Yeah. Tell them what it is? <laughs> Come on, hop in. Wow. Is it so pretty? Yes. This is where you live in. Oh, we do kind of live in here. We're in here a lot, aren't we? Hensley, what's this? My seat. That's your seat. That's where you sit, isn't it? What's under there? <laughs> is it sandwiches? Yeah, there's sandwiches and all kinds of toys. Uh. This is where we keep uh, some of Hensley's toys. Magnet stuff, Play-Doh stuff, arts and crafts, got books. You know where you watch TV or shows? Right here. She's got an Android tablet in the front. You want me to turn it on and show them how it works? Yes. Okay. And then there's Curious George. Yay. And so we've got our Amazon device that can connect through Bluetooth. Let's see. So we hit Bluetooth and hit that. And it's going to connect. Oh. Connected to Bluetooth. There we go. And so now when we play, it comes out the big speaker, doesn't it? There we go. Yeah. It is. And so I love this because we can also pause and turn it up and skip tracks, all that kind of stuff from right here. It's battery operated. If we need to, we can take it outside of the van and use it outside of the van as well. Do you like your van? Yes. Yes? <laughs> she actually asks to ride in the van quite she does. often. Like she loves that. She misses it if like we ever if it's getting serviced or if we don't have it with us for some reason. She's like, where's the van? What about Marissa? Does she like the van? Yeah. The van is so practical and is so convenient and does so much for us. I do. I love the van. So there you go. <laughs> it is. I don't win her over on everything. She gets her way more often than me in the airstream. I'd have to say, like, just the conveniences of it. it even just having that the camping toilet on board, like even when it's not our travel days, when we're just out and about, like it makes it so much easier mm. than trying to find a bathroom or wait in line. Let's figure out what's best for your situation, but we thought we'd share what's worked for us. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour of our van and we will catch you guys later. Bye bye, say see you next time. See you next time.